Hello and welcome. You're watching France 24. It's time for In the Papers, our international press review. Marianne Hembes joins me here in the studio. Marianne, what are you starting out? Starting out with? Starting out this morning with an article in La Libre Belgique about the Val Duchesse Academy. That's the, the title of that article. It's about the political uncertainty in Belgium and it's a bit of a play on the European version of our pop idol series in England, uh, the Star Academy series. And uh, Val Duchesse Academy, uh, Val Duchesse is the, it refers to the castle where negotiations uh, for creating the government take place in Belgium. Now, they have been going on there, of course, for more than three and a half months now. Yeah, there's all kinds of turmoil going on there. It's just one month after failing to uh, organize a coalition government, the Flemish, uh, for the Flemish and French speaking parts of Belgium, Yves Le Terme has been asked by King Albert to try again for the second time to, uh, to form some kind of dual coalition government. Now he's the Flemish Christian Democrat leader and uh, in June he got some 800,000 votes during the elections, but the task proved more difficult than he'd imagined to try and form this government. Uh, he'd hoped for greater self-rule for the Dutch-speaking parts of, uh, of Belgium. But, but that, of course, uh, there's been opposition to that in, in the French-speaking parts of Belgium. That's correct, that's right. And in looking at an article in Le, Le Figaro on the same subject, uh, we, they're concentrating on the economic side of what uh, separation between the French and Flemish-speaking parts could mean for people there points out that one thing that everybody has in common is they agree that uh, some sort of divorce could be very costly for the whole of the country. At the moment, there's an example of this. At the moment, it's estimated that every Flemish citizen currently contributes two, Euro, two euros 50 cents a day to finance their French-speaking counterparts. And uh, this is why some people want independence in the country. But it's saying that perhaps this is a short-sighted view because, in fact, in, after 2030, the Flemish-speaking part of the country is going to have a very ageing population in comparison to the French-speaking part, so this could be a reason. All right, that's Belgium. Now we're going to move on to Chinese workers in Algeria, of all places. We are indeed. Now, apparently there's a huge, uh, it's, it's the largest amount of legally working foreign workers in Algeria are Chinese. There's some 32,000 foreign workers in the country and uh, 155 different nationalities represented, and 45% of this is Chinese. Now, there's a special report on Chinese workers in Ain Benyan, in the western suburbs of Algier, and hundreds of Chinese workers are there. Uh, they mainly build houses and other infrastructure. And according to this article, many of them are coming up against discrimination and even racism. Now, the Chinese are saying that their quality of service in bars, restaurants, and even in hairdressers is second to that of other clients. One young worker said that uh, it's not only the comments that he receives from adults that are, are putting him off, but also from children. He says he's unable to walk alone in the Algerian suburbs for fear that gangs of children are going to come up and, and make racist comments against him. All right, now we're going to move on to a, to a story of a completely different kind. France is preparing for an important game in the Rugby World Cup. That's right. It's France's turn to take to the stage. They're going to be playing against Georgia in Marseille tonight, and it's a really important game for the Blues. They, they need to win, right? They do. Yeah, they need to secure their place in the quarterfinals. Now, the team's come a long way since their first, the opening match against uh, Argentina, which didn't go too well for oh, France. they lost it. They did indeed. But they convincingly beat Ireland and Namibia since then in their last two games. So, uh, according to the article, the team's confident. This is in, in L'Equipe that we're looking at this article. And, uh, yeah, the, the French are hoping very much for a win tonight and it's important because if they finish first in their group they'll be playing Scotland if they finish second it's harder because they'll be facing the infamous All Blacks. The All Blacks are a lot harder indeed. Thank you very much Marianne and that wraps up this uh, international press review. Join us again here on France 24.